Greetings, students. Dr. Pastor Sam here. You may be asking yourself, say, what's with all the toothbrushes? What are you, some kind of dentist? Ha <laughs> ha, joke. I'm no dentist, but I am a doctor. Today we're going to be doing an experiment on something that's important to everyone, the smile. Shalom y'all, it's Pastor Sam here again. In honor of Smile Week, today we are going to be doing a little experiment about smiling. Have you ever asked yourself, why do I brush my teeth with toothpaste anyway? Probably not, but I have. So today we're gonna to be brushing our teeth with different things and seeing, does it make your smile brighter? Let's find out. For our first toothpaste alternative, we're going to be using something that everyone has always dreamed of, hot fudge. But before we do, it's important to note that even the best science experiments can go wrong. So for that reason, just in case we have a uh, contingency plan here, in case there is an involuntary expulsion of waste material. All right, brushing our teeth with hot fudge. Let's give it a go. Make sure to get a nice copious amount on there. I'd say that's about 20 to 30 milliliters or something. I have no idea. Ooh, drippy. Okay. Hmm. I feel something. I don't know if it's whitening. Okay. Although delicious, it's safe to say that Hot fudge is not an alternative for toothpaste. Let's move on to the next one. Next, we'll be trying peanut butter. Hey, if it can make celery and carrot sticks taste good, I think it's got a pretty good chance. Let's give it a shot. So we're using creamy here, but crunchy might work well too. Okay, in three, two, one. Ooh, it's thick. Very thick. That's my initial scientific observation is very sticky. I don't think it's working. How does it look? No! Please, no! No! I don't think peanut butter is a good toothpaste alternative. Okay, our next toothpaste alternative is marshmallow fluff, which is basically liquid marshmallows. Hmm. You know, this actually kind of looks like toothpaste, so I'm kind of optimistic about this. I think this one might actually work. Let's try marshmallow fluff. Let's get a lot on the, oh baby. That is very stretchy. Okay, brushing with marshmallow fluff. Oh, mmm, feels very pillowy. It's very soft. Hmm. Well, stop it. Get some help. Well, even though it looks like toothpaste, it definitely does not taste like toothpaste, and I don't think it works like toothpaste. So, marshmallow fluff is out. On to the next one. So this next one I'm very excited about. This is one of the rarest materials in the world. This wow. is unicorn sauce, made from a real unicorn. Just kidding, this is pink frosting and rainbow sprinkles. So while you may be thinking, how in the world could this be good for your teeth? Have you ever brushed with it? Didn't think so. So let's try the unicorn sauce. Make sure to get sprinkles on there. That's what's gonna activate the whitening action. Okay, brushing with unicorn sauce in three, two, one. Oh my. Whoa! I can feel the power coursing through my veins. The power of the rainbow. Oh wait, that's just sugar. Well, what do you think? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Woo! I got a lot of energy now for some reason, but I don't think that this makes a good toothpaste. Mm. So let's try the next one. Woo. Okay, we've tried a lot of sweet toothpaste, but they don't seem to work very well. So now let's move on to the savory. First off, we have another one that looks like toothpaste, ranch dressing. You've tried it on your pizza, now try it on your teeth -za. 
I really wanted that to work. Oh well. Okay. Get a nice big glob on there. Drip. <laughs> Brushing our teeth with ranch dressing in three, two, one. Oh wow! The flavor! <laughs> Kicks in immediately. Okay. Well. Oh, disgusting! Well, it may be the only thing that makes salads good, but it's not good for toothpaste. Next. First off, let me say that I believe the scientific community can agree that cheese is not supposed to come out of a can. Okay, so for the cheese spray, we're actually gonna take it straight from the can. Cheese is not supposed to come out of a can. Oh, oops, okay, well, that's a, uh, that's, pretty good there and one more and perfect using cheese as toothpaste in three two one all right well how does it look <coughs> hmm no comment because I literally can't talk my mouth is stuck together with cheese we're gonna give the cheese spray a no all right, this next chemical compound can be found on the periodic table under GU or guacamoleum. Our next toothpaste alternative is guacamole and I'm not even gonna charge you extra. All right, let's get a nice big helping on there, nice. So this is made from avocados which have a lot of uses and health benefits so this might actually work. Let's give guacamole a try in three, two, one. Oh boy, Ooh, got a little spice. Oh, oh, big spice, woo, woo, I'm in pepper flashbacks. Ah, oh, it's so spicy. All right, how's your luck? The worst. Well, that one had a lot of kick, but I don't know that my teeth are any whiter or brighter. So unfortunately, guacamole's not gonna work. And now we've come to the final test of our experiment, tuna fish. There's something a little fishy about this one, but it's for science, so here we go. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. But can you tune a smile? Let's find out. Brushing your teeth with tuna fish in three, two, one. Okay, I think we're gonna need a little more. Does tuna fish make your smile brighter? You tell me. No, no, no. Now I know how it feels to be a shark, but unfortunately, I don't think that tuna fish is a good alternative for toothpaste. Well, after doing some real sciencey stuff, we can officially conclude that none of the toothpaste alternatives work as well as toothpaste for making your smile bright. But we did learn a few things. The science words of today are viscosity, which means how goopy something is, like peanut butter and marshmallow fluff have a lot of viscosity. And the second science word is regret, as in I regret this experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this very educational video and that you're smiling a lot this week. There's so much we have to be joyful and thankful for. I'll see y'all in the next video. Now go brush your teeth. Well, it works for dogs.